Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we are on April 29th, 2021. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather and world weather. And of course, everything affecting humanity. Looking at our sun the last 48 hours. A couple of glitchy moments there. But still active sunspot region leaving. And as well active plasma filament here incoming images looking at that fiery sunspot region blasting away nothing major but still it is pretty amazing to see quick look here at the plasma filament ripping away from the northwestern limb pretty sizable but fell back to the sun but it did produce a CME, and we will be looking at that in the last go to image when we get to it. Just looking here, multi spectrum, active outgoing regions, and as well observing Earth facing coronal hole, and another one in the southern region there. Kind of seems like we're about to receive the coronal hole wind stream. Looking here at the most recent volcanoes to update, Swiss Nijima in Japan, Cinnabung, Dokrono, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, of course, Sufri in St. Vincent, still erupting, uh, Reventador in Ecuador, as well, Semeru, Indonesia, Pacaya in Guatemala. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today, as well that era. So 13 volcanoes being updated today, as well we did have a tsunami watch that went out with the earthquakes that happened in Oregon overnight. Pretty sizable earthquakes as well, rang off off the coast of Oregon Right into that large subduction zone, folks. Juan de Fuca plate. So tsunami watch was put out, but there was no tsunami threat or imminent. Looking here at the last go to image, you can see the last couple images of the view that they are providing here. Something did shoot out the left hand side, and that's that plasma filament that I showed at 193 angstroms there in the beginning. Definitely not Earth directed. Looking here at a real time solar wind, as yeah, things have calmed down. We're sitting at about 330 kilometers per second. Maximum was 360, but we're seeing the temperature rise now, and as well, the phi angle flipped. Looking here at the ISWA, showing that small CME. That will be heading our way. Shot away on the 26th. It will be arriving soon. As well, Schumann resonance for today, a power of nine. Saw a couple of good spikes there yesterday, but nothing major to report today with the Schumann resonance. Kind of a calm. Power of nine, and quality of 10.2. All green. Looking here at earthquakes for the last 24 hours, we're going to start here with a 4.6 in Mankar, Indonesia, 63 kilometer depth. It's pretty much like the deepest earthquake the last 24 hours right here, 142 kilometer depth, 4.3 Papua New Guinea, 
as well. 4.7 Taiwan, 4.5 Taiwan, kind of triangulating out, triangulating out around the tall volcano, as well as seeing increased seismicity through the Kermadex again. 5.1, 5.0. We did see some sizable earthquakes as well yesterday. Please feel free to come and check out the live stream at any time. I was not able to do an update yet last night. Reporting here, 5.3, 5.2, and a 5. Point, well, as well, 4.1. And they're still going off here off the coast of Oregon. So stay safe, stay aware, and prepared. There are some pretty sizable volcanoes that haven't erupted in a long time. All into in the Cascades, down into the Long Valley. And then what's going on here with the border with Texas and Mexico, White City, New Mexico, continuing earthquakes through the region. As well, a 2.5 there, Smiley, Texas. But yeah, I mean, over on USGS, showing the last 30 days for earthquakes. And it, there seems to be a pattern here developing right across, right across the United States and up into the Yellowstone. And then, of course, major stress, California, all faults into the West Coast. But it seems like there's a lot of stress coming in through Texas and into Mexico now. Just keeping a, giving you all a heads up, everybody. That's what this is all about, being aware and prepared because we are seeing the increased activity, especially up across the upper Midwest and the border with California and increased seismicity west of Yellowstone and as well in and around. Just today we reported a couple earthquakes here, a 1.2 and as well a 0.7 or something earthquake, but a lot of tremors are going off throughout Yellowstone. As well, increased seismicity here through Alaska. South America, lonely earthquake here, 4.7, 106 kilometer depth. Continuing earthquakes here in Puerto Rico. As well, Mexico reporting a 4.5 and a 5.0 there. Just north of Popo and then quiet all across the African plate quiet all across the rest of the planet really and when we're looking at the last seven days there is a lot of deep earthquakes west of ring of fire right now and the increased seismicity through the Kermadex and as well North American plate here off the coast of Oregon Stay aware and prepared. Central regions, North America, and South America. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Mike from Morning Dew. Looking here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. Really warm temperatures the next couple days, but cool high-pressure ridge coming from the north. It's going to, yeah, keep these cool temperatures around even into the long-range forecast here. Foothills of Alberta will be receiving snow. Calgary most likely yeah, a little flurry here and there. But that low pressure system coming out of Alberta is going to be heading straight south into Colorado and developing with a big gulf low as well. These two might merge. I don't know. Big system heading through the central United States and into Ontario. As well, big low pressure system here affecting Newfoundland for the next couple days and watch for that low to quickly head north over the Hudson Bay. But these systems here through the United States and as well parts of Atlantic Canada and long range forecast, watch for extreme weather, heavy downpours, cool temperatures across the prairies and of course, northern BC as well. Watch for these low pressure systems to just keep spinning around in the Pacific right now. Big high pressure system dominant, not really let, not letting any of these systems 
do what they're normally supposed to do, which is usher in spring. Overlooking the Atlantic, no major weather systems in play. As well with Europe, no major weather systems in play. Except for this big low that's going to be heading out of the North Atlantic into parts of Ireland and then into the UK. You could see some... Definitely some windy and gale force winds. Very windy conditions throughout the United Kingdom and then up into Finland. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Russia. Cool temperatures still lingering around northern China. As well, lots of rain forecasted for China over the next few days. Big low pressure system heading out of Mongolia. No major weather systems here affecting Indonesia, nor Malaysia. Papua New Guinea, watch for heavy rains, daily evaporation. Australia, watch for moisture here to move into coastal regions, northeastern Australia, but as well both the southeastern and southwestern parts of the, the province. Watch for low pressure systems there and lingering cold temperatures. High pressure ridge here over New Zealand. Going to dry things out for a few days. As well, high pressure ridge extending to Hawaii still. You could watch some moisture there in between with that developing low in the North Pacific. But yeah, these systems are huge and they're dense. So they're not going to make it over the mountains. They're going to ramp up, break up. This big system coming out of the West Pacific is a little bit concerning for the long range forecast for Alaska. No major weather systems here affecting South America, except for heavy rains through regular culprits here. Coastal regions, Panama, and up into parts of Guatemala as well. Watch for rain to move into parts of southern Argentina with that low. And then same here, big cold low pressure system scooted through South Africa. And you can see that in the long range forecast. It's going to whip up through central parts of Congo, Congo, and it's going to bring some cool temperatures, surprisingly cool temperatures to parts of Africa. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out our major players for the next five days. Much love and thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the bell so you don't miss an update. Again, thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.